All right, now click on create new project. To save your project, you need a certain folder. My folder is located on my desktop, so I'll go back. I'll look for the desktop folder. Let's go back to desktop. All right, now I created a tutorial folder on my desktop. Then inside it, I'm going to select tiny short and select the current folder. I'm going to name my project tiny short as the asset I'm using is tiny short and click on create. All right now, after opening Godot, we're going to click on do this scene and we are going to rename first this node 2D as world. All right, now control S, we create a new folder. We are going to call it main and click on OK and we can save. All right, now here we have our project, but we have nothing yet. So as you can see, we have no assets. So what we're going to do is to import some assets. So we'll go down here. Then you can see the free pack that I downloaded from Pixel Frog. Now I'm going to drag and drag and drop it in tutorials. After that, I can just uh, you can see the tiny short project got it easy. So all I need to do is to import this asset inside the same document. I'm going to control X and cut it. Now I can paste it and I would like to rename it as assets. All right, once done, let's go back to Godot. Now in Godot, we are going to wait for the importing of assets or importing actually. Now let's go to project setting. Uh, in uh, our search bar, we are going to type texture, textures, and we are going to change it to the nearest. All right. Now we can close this. Go back to the folder asset, click on it and go back to import. What we are going to do is to re-import. So now is re-importing this asset inside that folder. All right, let's close this scene. Now we can start building on this. So what we're going to do is a right click, add a child node. We are going to add for a simple node like this one. And we are going to rename it as tiles. This is going to contain all the tile, all the tiles. Um, let's see in terrain. You can see there are different types of tile maps. There is the water background and all these tiles. So let's first add a child node to our world. We are going to add another node to the drag it on top of tiles and let's rename it as uh, background now for our background we are going to right click add a child node we are going to add a um, let's see which one can we add we are going just to add a we can try a panel actually no, it doesn't seem like a good idea to use a panel. So all you can do also is just change the type. You're going to use a texture, right? Texture, right? All right. Let's rename it as uh, water. Now you can go and drag the image up to the textures. All right. Now let's expand this image to fill the screen size you can even make it bigger you can save and now let's close this All right now we are going to right click on tiles and add a child node we are looking for tile but you know you're using tile map so we are using tile map layer all right now we can duplicate up to five copies of them let's rename the first one as ground one the second one as ground 2 
and ground tree. This is for different uh, the levels of ground. Now click on tile set, empty and add a new tile set. You're going to change the tile size to 64 by 64 which was set by PixelFrog, the creator of all assets. So you can just go on the website and you'll see that all the assets are set by 64 by 64. Let's go back here. As you can see, we have different colors for these different types of tiles for the ground. So let's go on tile set. We are going to drag and drop it here. As you can see, you can click yes. Then now can see I can select all these and we can zoom it a bit back and try to center this. Let's do the same thing for uh, the ground too. New tail set, tail set, click on it. We are going to change the tail size 64 by 64. Uh, click on tail set. We are going to import third one here. As you see, the color change. This one is a little bit darker. Same process again. Sixty four by sixty four. All right, now on that side, we are going to drag and drop it right here. All right, now let's drag it a bit down here, as you can see, you have water and all them. So like that's okay, for them up layer 4, I can actually add trees using that term up there. Same process as the others. But for this one, we don't we don't know the size of the tiles, so we're just gonna keep by default 16 by 16. We're going to our folders and we're going to drag from the three three images. We're going three four and three four PNGs. So as you can see now, we can go back to our ground one. For those who do not know how to actually use this tile, we can go to my previous tutorials on how to make a RPG game. But one of my first videos, I think, is the first part of the video, which talks more about how to use this drawing skills and design skills for the RPG time map. I will leave you the link in the description so you can actually see how it's made. Even from here, I can just show you a little bit how I actually use it. So as you can see, we have three different elevations of the ground. I will use three levels of the ground. You can even use more if you want for more design, but I feel like a three level is already good for me and for the idea of the template kit I'm making. So be also careful about the details. As you can see, the elevation on the ground does not have the water form on it, but as you can see now, I can actually cover it like this. All right. Very nice to build like this. So me, I'm going to actually stop by here. You can go and do your designs and we will see each other in the next video, most probably.